Hello Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading. This is going to be about their current feelings for you. So please only take what fits, what resonates and makes sense and whatever doesn't, just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. Thank you for being here. So again, if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Let's get right into this, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. All right, Aquarius, here we go, their feelings. What are their feelings towards Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? All right. Someone here feels like they're waiting. They're being patient. They're wanting things to grow, but they're also really worried. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of worry here about loyalty, worried here about being dedicated, worried here about being able to offer that, to offer something secure, to have something secure and stable with you. It feels like there's there a lot of work here that's being done. Like someone is really focused heavily on something here, Aquarius, like they're, they're just laser focused right now. Um, this could also be just really wanting to focus on oneself. Okay. A lot of independent energy, just being patient with oneself, letting things grow in time, but not trying to force, not trying to rush things, but they are worried about you. They're worried about this connection. They feel like there's been a lot of conflict. Like there's been, a lot of influences here, okay? Whether it be jealousy, whether it be difference of opinions, whether it be someone who's in uh, someone's ear, this could be family, this could be friends. They feel like there's a lot coming at different directions here when it comes to you, when it comes to this connection. They may feel like sometimes it's hard for you too to get on the same page. Like there's been a lot of bickering here, disagreements here just conflict, right? Overall, just conflict in general. All right. This person also feels like there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. You have the star here that is Aquarius energy, but it's all about focusing on self-love, self-healing, self-focused. Now there's also a lot here about releasing negative thoughts, uh, patterns, cycles, limiting beliefs, just anything that's limiting and keeping someone dragged down into negative thoughts and feelings, emotions. There's a lot going on here. Now, this is also a very heavy reading Aquarius, but this person does feel like there's still potential here. Like there's still opportunity here. Like they want that achievement. They want that success, but they feel like it's going to take a lot of hard work and determination and letting go, letting go of these, these chains right? Whatever the chains are, whatever the attachments are. Okay. There's a lot here that needs to be healed. That needs to be released. Someone here has some things that they have to face. They need to be clear about it because they do feel really stressed. And it feels like it's really like the energy here is thick. Like there's a lack of balance. There's a lack of focusing on positive things, focusing on the right things, causing stress here. Look at that, but the sun on the bottom. So again, happiness here, wanting a new direction, wanting a new beginning. This person does feel a spark here. They feel a chemistry here. You have Virgo under that, but things are stuck right now. For a lot of you, they may be just like, you may be separated because it was too stressful. There was too much going on. You couldn't get along. Someone here needs to focus on what they need to focus on Aquarius. However, that resonates for you. All right, but this person is feeling like they want a new beginning. This person does want to take action. This person does see potential. This person feels happy when they think about you, happy when they're around you, but it's everything else. Like it's this, it's the, it's that conflict, right? It's that heavy energy. It's the secrecy, lies, deception, confusion, heaviness, the chains, right? The cycles, those negative things, releasing that. Someone here is kind of like going through a purge, going through a cleanse here, really trying to focus on the more positive things here, focused on opportunity, focused on growth, focused on a new beginning. Hmm. This person does see a lot of opportunity here. Wanting someone who's dependent, who is going to be committed, who is putting that work, this is their feeling. Like they want that. They want to do that. They want this to happen here. Showing that dedication, showing commitment. Commitment to believe in oneself, commitment to release what needs to be released. 
to heal, to recharge, to focus on good, to focus on the future, to focus on being happy, that bright star, that Aquarius energy, happiness, which is very interesting because the feeling is there's a lot of that when this person thinks about you, but everything that may have been going on was very heavy and brought a lot of sadness and brought a lot of tension, conflict. So Aquarius, let's see, you have Leo here. You had Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. Okay, let's get a little bit more. This person is working really hard at something here. Like they're just really focused and they're really, and they feel like they've been really patient or there's a need for patience. They may be giving you time, giving you space. Okay. Family, security, warmth, love. There's bitterness. There's jealousy. There's rivalries here. Yeah. See who is jealous of this? Who is jealous of you and your person? Who's causing conflict between you and your person? Stirring up drama, feelings, confusion. This could be family. Bitter. Someone here is bitter. But I also feel like this, fam <laughs> this family, this person feels like you are like, family. They have that close connection with you. Like they want a family with you. This is what they were building. This is what they were wanting to grow, wanting to happen, right? This is that big energy moving in together, getting married, the new doors opening together, seizing it, taking it success together. That was that warmth, that love here, having that security. The cassette tape, there's truth value in what you say. There are negative influences from your past, but still this person cares about you. Even with everything going on here and this heavy, heavy energy, like this person still feels like you are the one. That potential here is still here. They feel it. It hasn't gone away. It isn't. This person is really worried. They care. They're hopeful. They want to focus on the happy things, positive things, right? The positive direction. Because you're still the one they care about. The one they think about. The one they want. Okay. That's the truth. What else? This is your soulmate. This is how they feel about you. This person has sexual fantasies about you. So they still feel and think about you in that way. There was someone interfering in our relationship. See, there's that rivalry. There's that person who's jealous. Uh, this person could be in their heads. There's someone you may relate to that Aquarius, however it resonates for you. But there is an interference here. And it may be someone close because they... they Fear that you getting close, you having that happiness, you moving forward, you having a new beginning. Sometimes it's easier for people to want you to stay where you are instead of focus on you and what you want. So there's definite jealousy going on here. Telling you what to think, how to feel in your ear, that kind of thing. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Let's see. Whew, childhood wounding is, was influencing my actions. There's a lot here that goes deep rooted with childhood issues, childhood trauma. Someone here is giving you the silent treatment. Like they weren't speaking to you, weren't talking to you. They needed time. They needed space. Being really patient here, doing their own thing, staying focused. They have a lot that they're dealing with, Aquarius. And, but it's again, it's like they're, they're really worried twin flame journey. They're very stressed. The chemistry off the charts. That's undeniable here. The sexual chemistry intention is undeniable here. Mm, okay. But it, it's much more than that. Just that. 
It's much more than just that. They want a new direction with you. They want things to grow. They want commitment. They want that work. They want to offer that stability. But there's a lot of healing and needing to deal with the things in the shadows first. The things that weigh us down. The things that keep us going in a loop of negativity, right? Dealing with the conflict, dealing with the influences, dealing with the people who try to chip in, chime in. Jealousy. Okay. Hmm. Aquarius. Wow. It's really interesting because even with all this, what's in these cards, it's not stopping this person with how they feel about you. And that's a lot, right? That's a lot to go through in a relationship when you have all this going on. Some people, they're like, I'm out. But this person is like, no, I'm, I'm still here. I feel it. It's still there. Feelings are like really strong for you. I'm so lucky to have you as a partner. I admire your strength and resilience. Very strong energy here. And I'm thankful for your loyalty and your commitment. Yeah, this person is really dedicated to you. And with everything going on, it really, it, not only does it worry them and they think about it, they think about you at night. They stay up late at night thinking about you, uh, Aquarius. This person is very loyal to you. And there is a commitment here. It may feel like this person will always be there when you need them. Okay. What else? They feel like you've always been there. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. It feels like it's everything else. I know I was a distraction from your pain and it's time for me to heal. Someone just, they needed a break. There was way too much going on. It's like the odds here, everything working against this, the, the, the connection, the spark. There was a lot. It was a lot. For some of you, it may feel like it still is a lot. Someone is wondering if you're happy without them. Someone feels like you were the best part of their life. One of the best things in their life. But there's a lot of healing here. Releasing the weight, releasing the, the, the drama, the gossip, the negative energy. It's just too much. Right? Because you want to be happy. This is a time to cleanse. This is a time to move forward. This is a time to be committed to someone who's going to be committed to you. Who knows that they're lucky to have you in their life? Who knows your loyalty? Who knows and can see your commitment and admire your strength in doing so? Someone here is watching, looking out for you. They need to see something here or you need to see something here. Okay. However, again, it resonates. Someone wants to see some action because seeing is believing. This person is protective over you. They feel like they are looking out for you. They may feel that way again about it. It's really interesting. It feels like it could be either way here. It's like you look out for each other. Becoming more aware, seeing the truth, seeing the truth about people around you. All of this leads to more growth and development. This is how they're feeling. And there's an overflowing here. This person has a lot of love to give and they are in a rush to get serious. This person is charming. It may be, this may have happened kind of quick, kind of fast. Like it just poured in these feelings, these emotions, the connection, the time spent. Someone here is lonely, the lone wolf. They're not ready to settle down and they need a lot of space. Someone here can't commit and someone here wants to be a free spirit. Someone here doesn't want to be tied down. Someone here is used to these patterns, these cycles, and it was causing a lot of issues here. Like they were offering it, but they weren't giving it, Aquarius, okay? Let's see. Now there's a silence. Now there's space. 
I'm cutting you off for right now. So someone is done with something. They're done. They're not going to deal with it. They don't want to be influenced in a negative way. They're, they need space. They need to heal. They need time. So again, there is that silent treatment. You are so beautiful to me. I know you're the one for me. See, again, it, it's, it goes back to, yes, there is a lot going on here. There is a lot that has been influencing. There's a lot of negative jealousy feelings here. Hate, like for real, like it does feel that way. Like there are a lot of people here who are really envious of this connection, but this person still knows that that potential, like they still feel like, like Aquarius is that one, that one that I'll always think about, that one that I always will wish it could have happened or will happen. It's, it's still very present. It's very fresh. I may be running, but my soul wants only you. That, that message is clear. Even if there's a cutoff, even if there's a not speaking, silent treatment, time going on, patience needed. You're still the one. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. That's three. Okay. I'll look at the bottom. Here we go start with this side you have three 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 trinity mind body and soul you are in the zone express your true authentic self okay and then we have the hat here someone playing many roles gathering here at the table coming together this is all about nourishment this is all about getting things together. This is all about that trinity, the mind, body, the soul, having it all on the table, bringing it all to the table, coming to a place where there's healing, where there's, again, self-focus, self-love and growth to where there can be this offer that is stable, this offer of loyalty, this offer of commitment, because Aquarius, that's what you deserve. And a lot of you are ready to give that, maybe wanting that. So it's all about what we're bringing to the table here. What is going to be nourishing, fulfilling on the bottom, freedom, feeling light, feeling free, rising up, not crashing down, not being dragged down, not letting jealousy, rivalries, bitterness, envy, fear weigh you down. This is a time to be uplifted. Another on the bottom. This is a strong feeling here of love and desire for you. This person has been hit with that love arrow, with Cupid's arrow. They do care about you very much, but wanting it to be light, wanting it to be healed, wanting to enjoy that happiness together, to feel free to rise up. There's a lot of emotion here. A lot of water. Remember you had the waterfall, right? We have the balloon here, the water underneath. A lot of color blue as well. The love here, the desire here is still very present. And it's all about what's going to be brought to the table that the both of you can enjoy together, create together, seize that opportunity, that love, that union together, but healthy, happy, committed, focused, no longer crashing or being weighed down, right? Only rising up, feeling free and feeling happy. This is what this person feels when they think about you wanting to rise up and to be free, free to love, free to grow, free to enjoy the goodness here, being positive, optimistic, that hope for the future. There's a lot of hope here. This is what they feel. Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below. Uh, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.